Hey everyone, today I wanted to look at the characters of the realm and explain their ages, something that isn't clear in all cases, so some are definitely up for debate. DBD lacks a lot in terms of providing exact ages and birthdays and stuff, therefore much of this is speculation and assumption based on what we are given, which again is very little. These are just my thoughts, they aren't fact unless I mention them directly to be. As always, let me know your thoughts too down below. There are a few characters we have little to no idea on how old they are. Executioner is a good example of age not really mattering, with him being a creation from the mind of James Sunderland. He doesn't technically have an age even. Maybe he counts to be as old as James, but really I think age just doesn't apply in this case. For the Dredge it's kinda complicated too. The Fold is created during the 1960s and continues over the said years. If we consider Dredge was summoned or created from the dark thoughts of the Fold community, we could put an age of maybe 2 to 5 on it in terms of the time it stalked the community, however it's more than likely an ancient being with an age we have no idea of. So again you can kind of apply something but not really. Hunk's age doesn't seem to be known due to his mysterious background. The wiki states that the earliest known training he did was in 1996, with him also allegedly being in the army too. If he too was taken in 1998 then we can can say he's likely around 30 or more. Reasonably though, due to his mysterious background, he could be far older than that, he could be far younger, there's literally no way to know. Okay, so on to the characters with actual ages. One of the youngest characters is Xenomorph. It's born during the events of the first Alien film, where it hunts down the members of the Nostromo crew. At the point of ejection through the airlock and being taken into the realm, it's probably about a day old. Gabriel is a very interesting case, and I honestly think he's more than likely just a few months old, after being created as a clone, likely for the purpose of being sent to Devaka. He's stated to originally be from the planet of Proxima Centauri C. I think reasonably if we assume he was created for this mission, then he's anywhere from about a few weeks to a year old. Hux is said to have been activated on June 15th, 2313, however we don't really know what date this is in relation to the Devaka mission. I would predict however that Hux and the clones sent on this mission were all created for the mission and deployed soon after their activation and creation. Demo I think we can actually make quite an educated guess, despite not knowing. In season 2 of the show, Dustin grows a Demogorgon which he calls Dart. Dart grows from a tadpole-like creature into around a dog-sized creature in just 5 days. This would lead me to believe Demo could be anywhere from a month to a year or so old. It could be older too, but it could have easily reached this size in a very short amount of time. Nemesis is a deal where he was more than likely grown in a lab. He's probably no more than a year old, being a prototype bioweapon. He's technically in the unknown area though, because we literally don't know when exactly he was made. It's worth noting too that often DBD's canon gets confused with the film canon, where Nemesis is transformed from a human subject who is already much older. This doesn't appear to be the case, but isn't entirely possible either for DBD's own canon. The three Legion members aside Frank are all noted to be younger than him during the lore, which is part of why they followed and looked up to him so easily. This puts them at 18. The only one I think might be 19 possibly is Julie. Lisa is more than likely just 18. She's still in school and studying algebra and stuff during her tome lore, and with the events of her base lore happening presumably soon after, it's not overly clear, but my guess is 18. Laurie Strode is 17 during the Halloween of 1978. However, we can presume that she is taken a few months later, anywhere after February of 1979, her birthday, making her 18. Cheryl Mason is a similar deal, being 17 during Silent Hill 3, however her lore makes it clear that time goes by after this. She gets a job at a centre for troubled youths and seems to move on. She's at least 18, but possibly a bit older. I want to somewhat tag Alessa onto here too. Alessa isn't actually a separate person in game, just an outfit that represents her that Cheryl wears. So despite her dying at just 14, it's Cheryl wearing the outfit and not her, meaning Cheryl is still 18. Quinton is a similar deal to the other two here. Although he is 17 in his film, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the law insinuates that time has passed since the events of the film and mentions that Freddy has beaten death again after 
after he was defeated. This therefore makes Quinton 18 at least. Nancy and Jonathan are kind of a weird one, and I think you actually need to alter the timeline somewhat to make them 18, as according to the Stranger Things wiki, both of them only turn 18 in Season 4, when in DVD they're taken between Seasons 2 and 3. Regardless of that, they have to be 18 in DVD because every character is. DVD's law for them describes a unique scenario that isn't in the show, and so it's likely just a case of a different timeline, where the characters are a little older when they go through the supernatural events. Nia isn't given a specific age, but we can guess she's about 18. She starts rebelling at 16, and the law refers mainly to her early teens, so I think she's probably just 18. Rebecca is known to be born in 1980, and with the events of Resident Evil Zero taking place in 1998, this would make her 18. Frank of the Legion is stated to be 19 in his law. Some time does pass in the law, but he likely stays 19 during it. Steve is either 18 or 19, as the other characters appear to have been aged up a bit as well. I will assume Steve is 19, with him being a year older than Nancy and Jonathan. Claire wears her RE2 stuff in DBD, and in RE2 she's 19. Claudette gets an early scholarship to a college outside of Montreal. She is still attending college when she's taken, and assuming she went early at either 16 or 17, probably 17, she's somewhere between 18 to 20, I think. Rin is a similar case of stated to have been in university, making her anywhere between 18 to 21 prior to her death at the hand of her father. With the way the law's phrased, it makes me think she's in her first year, which would mean she's 18 or 19. Meg's law by its phrasing seems to occur just after she graduates high school and decides to care for her mother instead of taking on a scholarship. This would make her either 18 or 19. Sadako is 19 when she's pushed down the well and dies, becoming an Onryo. Ringu takes place during, I think, 1991, with that being when the book released. I'm not entirely sure when she was pushed or when the events take place exactly though, so she could mentally be older than 19, but physically as a ghost she is still 19. Yui's age is probably in the early 20s. We don't have an exact age, however as I mentioned last time around, Yui won the All Japan Moto Championship and was the youngest female racer to do so. Comparing this to a real life race named the All Japan Road Race Championship and its youngest female winner of 18, this means Yui is likely around 18. She continues to compete within her law, and it's mentioned her sponsorship triples as she supports her gang. This I reckon means she's around 19 or 20. Talita discovers kite fighting during her teenage years. She begins filming them and posting them online, likely around 16. She then begins to book photo shoots and commercials, making her likely at least 18 at the time, with it said to slow down when she's graduating high school. Years are said to pass before she quits modelling. I think by the end of her law, she's likely about 21 or 22, with her brother being younger at 19 or 20. Charlotte is likely a bit younger than I originally predicted. Charlotte's teenage years are spent alone post Victor's death. It mentions into her teenage years were tough and then a following quote of surviving for years again. Therefore it's possible she's still in her teens but likely in her early 20s. My prediction is 19 to 23 ish. Victor physically looks much younger than Charlotte but he's technically the same age. He dies before his teenage years however he's recreated in the realm by the entity. We can assume that him now being a part of Charlotte once more he shares her age. Jay drops out of college which means he is at least 18, likely 19 if he's dropping out midway. The law mentions he goes off the grid and doesn't contact his father for years, meaning at least two. Therefore he's probably around 21, maybe a little older. I mainly presume it's college he drops out of as he drops out in part due to his brother's college graduation at Yale. However it's possible he dropped out of high school too. Leon is taken during the first day of the outbreak of Raccoon City when he is 21. Michael is likely 21, with him turning this age very recently, it's unlikely the Halloween time jump we have for DVD altered this age. Carlos is born in 1977, and so during the Raccoon City incident he's just 21. He still has his umbrella get up on, so we know he's taken during that time. Feng is a tough one because again we don't have much to go on, we don't really know when her peak esports days were, however a mistake in my last video was that she had to be 21 at least when really it's 18, with that being the legal age in China to drink in bars. This doesn't necessarily mean that she is just 18 though, my guess is still somewhere between 18 to 21. The events of Billy's Tome Law happen during 1972 when the Colburn Massacre is said to have occurred. Billy's Tome is called A Man Named Boy, so he's a man, and so at least 18. He does appear to live on the farm for a decent amount of time post-massacre, with the amount he manages to damage and how trash the Thompson house is. Therefore, he's probably somewhere between 19 to 21 I would say. Philip was quite young during the Nigerian Civil War which lasted between 1960 
1967 to 1970. After the events of his tome, he leaves Nigeria and moves to the US, where he starts his work at Autohaven. He's at least 18 at the time of this move, but possibly closer to his early 20s. I'm going to stick with my answer from my original video, which was a fairly broad 21 to 25. Jill is taken during the Raccoon City T-Virus outbreak. She is 23 at the time. Shiva is likely 23. According to the wiki, she is born in 1986, with the events of Resident Evil 5 taking place in 2009. Lisa Garland is 23 during the first Silent Hill, with her appearance in DVD matching then. We can assume this age is right. Ada was born in 1974, with her being taken during the Raccoon City incident of 1998. We can presume she's 24 in DVD. Michaela is quite a confusing character, with us not even knowing where in the world she is. She loses her father at 16, and is helped by the friends around her, soon becoming a barista at the Moonstone, probably at around 18. It's mentioned she makes a big deal out of Halloween celebrations every year, suggesting a few years at least too. So I would predict she's somewhere between 20 to 25, with more years passing mentioned later. Trickster is interesting. Trickster hit his peak fame just after the death of his bandmates, it seems. The peak for a K-pop star is probably going to be fairly young, in their late teens or early 20s. I predict due to Trickster being a bit past his prime, and entering his downfall when he begins his experimental music, he's maybe somewhere between 21 to 25. Atom graduates from university, becomes a qualified teacher, and then continues to work as one in Japan for at least a year. If he graduated at the typical age of 21, and then took an additional year for teacher training, this would make him 22 or possibly 23. After this, he then teaches for a year and applies for a position in Japan, making him likely about 24 at the time of his move. Due to the lack of clarity of his time teaching in Japan, and the time needed to settle in, I would predict he's anywhere between 25 to 30. Chris appears to have been taken during the same time as the other Ari characters, which would make him 25 at the time, likely in Europe when it happens. We have no definitive age for Kate, however we know she leaves home with her truck when she's fairly young. She has to be at least 16 in Pennsylvania, her home state, to drive. Reasonably she could be anywhere between 21 to something like 25 I think, with her clearly touring for a long time and building up her name before returning home. Dwight seems to have gone through quite a few jobs. Granted, however, these are from the many different Dwight versions of the multiverse. The version we have worked at peak 22, and mainly based on appearance and his role there, I think he's around 23 to 25. To me, he looks a little older than the other original characters, and having a steady job and whatnot makes me think he's a little older too. Maurice is a relatively old-looking horse, and so I think he is on the higher end of horse lifespans at about 25. Maria is 25 during the events of Silent Hill 2, where we can presume she was taken. Hadi's first mentioned age is 10, which is when she gets her hair streak and her parents die. She begins using her abilities more after graduating high school. From here she grows her web series and grows older, using her abilities in dark places. I think just from the sheer number of places she's said to investigate, she has to be around her mid to late 20s. Carmina is a little unclear, and although we do get some references to years passing, I don't think there's any specifics for ages. In her toy image, she looks like she's in her early 20s. This is when I think she likely begins her journey with art. She spends some more unspecific years doing her art and adapting her style, and so I think she's somewhere between 25 to 29, with her looking a little older by the time she reaches the realm. Yunjin gained her internship at Mighty One at just 17, however she is quite clearly older than that in game. I always pinned her as a little older than Trickster, with her managing him and also no spin throughout the years. I think she's somewhere between 25 to 29 her mid to late 20s. Zarina, I think, is a similar age. She seems to have a lot of experience built up over the years as a filmmaker prior to her big break. She starts as a reporter in her teens. To me, she looks like she's somewhere in her mid to late 20s, likely on the older end when she is taken, investigating Hellshire Penitentiary. Jonah receives the numbers on his 16th birthday. He's then stated to go to university, graduating likely around 22. He is then hired by the CIA as a codebreaker. He's soon moved to Quantana. It's not too clear how much time passes, but it would reasonably seem he's actually fairly young still, maybe between 25 to 29 by the time he goes to Chile and investigates the numbers further. Yuichi is about 7 years old during the Ringu book, with DBD adapting him and aging him up so he could come to the realm. With these events happening in 1991 and Yuichi releasing in 2022, this would make him 38, which I don't think he is. I would presume he's closer to 25 to 29. He graduates university as a marine biologist and then goes on to teach 
age at a university or so, being the youngest professor to do so. So a younger age, I think, aligns to that better, especially with him looking younger than 38 in-game. Ghostface is one I think I was really off the mark with originally, saying he was 21. This doesn't seem likely, with him known to have gone through multiple towns prior to his Roseville murders, mentioned to be in Utah to Pennsylvania. This means he's reasonably closer to something like 25 to 30 probably. Trapper's Law seems to take place in the late 1890s to early 1900s. There's a minor strike mentioned in Trapper's Tome Law that seems very similar to that of the Seattle General Strike, which happened in 1919. Trapper was fairly young at just 14 when this was going on, and still under the control of his father. Time does pass throughout the law though, and we can presume Evan is a bit older by the time he turns on his father. I think reasonably he could have turned on him somewhere between 10 to 20 years later, which would place Evan at around 25 to 30, so I'm scaling the age back a bit from last time. The Skull Merchant is likely quite young still. She's stated to be a self-made millionaire by the age of 18. The next stage is mention of her mid-twenties, where she is regularly flipping companies, killing the board members, and selling them. With her continuing on with this, I think by the time she gets to the realm, she's somewhere between 26 to 30. Adiris's age is almost entirely just speculation. She's mentioned to have a quick rise to her position as High Priestess of Babylon. I pretty much feel the same as I did before, and think she's around 27 or so. She doesn't quite seem as old as 30, but not at her mid-twenties or something either. She reasonably can't be too old either because the plague cuts her reign short. Sybil I did some research on and apparently there are some conflicting ages due to some retcons and conflicting documents which state her age to be either 22 or 28. From what I read however, there's more evidence to support 28, so I'm going with that. James Sunderland is 29 during the events of Silent Hill 2, which he appears to be taken from. Anna we really don't have much to go on at all, however we can assume based on her appearance and the amount she is stated to do out in the woods, she's probably about 30, as Anna follows in the footsteps of her mother, trying to become a mother herself and stealing children, and trying to fill that role she lost, she very well might be a similar age to her own mother when she died. Based on a picture of her mother we have from a cutscene, I would predict she was about 32, with young Anna looking about 10 at the time. Tahus is captured when he's young and trains with the Guardia Compania, becoming a knight and eventually gaining his freedom. He learns a number of things from wielding weapons to forging armor, which likely took a number of years. Due to Tahos' experience and fairly long journey it seems to freedom, and then rebellion, I think he's likely around 30. That's pretty much just a guess though. Ripley is 30 years old during the first Alien film. She's born in 2092 and the events of the film take place in 2122. As she's taken at the beginning of cryosleep, this means she's still just 30. David is kind of unclear and there was a lot of debate last time over my choice of 24 as his age. I think a more accurate age would maybe be late 20s, with him looking physically older. He's a debt collector for many years, getting into fights, and his cosmetics relay many tales of these events. Late 20s seems okay to me. The first ages we get for these two are 14, when they meet as children during their parents' Imperiati meetings on Dyer Island. There's a chance Felix is a little older or younger, but they're likely just the same age. 14 years on from this date, Elodie begins her investigations and work with the Collector, where she's 28. Felix is noted to become an architectural prodigy at 23, however these points don't align I think. Another five years is mentioned to have passed in Elodie's law, which is when she's taken. This would likely make her 33. For Felix, this number could technically be anywhere from 32 to 38. Amanda isn't noted to have an exact age during Saw, however based on her appearance and the actor's age at the time, she was probably in her 30s. Kazan is extremely proficient in combat still, meaning he probably can't be too old. He defeats his father too, who must also be relatively capable and likely no older than around 50. Kazan also has a son, who still seems to be young. If he's about a decade on from having a child at say 21 to 25, then I would predict Kazan is around 31 to 35. Bubba was born in 1938, and the events of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre happen a year earlier than the film's release, so 1973. The beginning of the film states, August 18th, 1973. This makes Bubba likely 35. Birkin is 36 when he dies in Resident Evil 2, born in 1962, and dying on September 30th, 1998. Jane is sort of a case where we need to mostly guess. Due to her high success, I don't think she can be too young though. She has her own talk show, she has a bunch of different companies and stuff like that. I would pin her somewhere in her mid to late 30s, I think. According to the wiki, Jane is the developer's take on Oprah. Oprah got her talk show at 32, so I think with Jane working for 
for a bit since starting her show, she's probably in her mid to late 30s if we equate these. Jeff moves away from Ormond and graduates high school around the same time the Legion killed the Stork like it seems, with him not knowing about it. He becomes a roadie for a short while, and after a few years gets his eye injury. He returns to art school and later gets a steady desk job. We can actually figure out Jeff's age though mainly from a Legion charm. We know Susie is probably about 18, and so the same year as Jeff. The charm states they were this age in the school year of 1993 to 1994. Jeff is presumably taken in his release year of 2018, which makes him 42. Talbot joins the British East India Company and takes seven years to become head chemist, making him probably at least 30 to 35. He experiments on people during the first Opium War, which lasts about three years. The following years where he tries to find another realm within the multiverse is unclear, but I personally think he's somewhere between 40 to 50. We get a brief look at his appearance, and I think this lines up. Deathsinger's main number we have to go on is his 15 years imprisonment. If we assume he was imprisoned as young as around 21, this would mean he's nearing 40 by the time he gets out out and begins bounty hunting. The gang he creates from the prison lasts for around six years, putting him somewhere in his early 40s to early 50s, depending on when he initially went to prison. Nurse is married before her law starts, really. It's unclear how long for, but presuming she's married fairly young, somewhere between 18 to 25, and spends some time with her husband before his death, then the following two decades at Crotus Pren means she's likely around 40 to 50. Due to her appearance in her tome law, which is a little sooner prior to her breakdown, I am more of the belief she is in her early 40s. Doctors somewhat depends on if he's actually a trained doctor, which is put into question during his law. Presuming he is a trained doctor, he's probably at least 28 before he gets recruited. He works at Larry's for quite a while whilst experimenting. My guess is he's around 40 to 50. Clown was a character I think I was wildly off on the age of last time round. He's born in 1932, his first kill happens when he is just 22. After it's uncovered by his father though, he flees and changes his identity. For the next decade, he falls into bad habits, making him around 32. Now, this is where I needed to push it further before, I think, because he's likely not 32 in game as he does continue killing beyond this. It's not the end point. He has a VHS tape add on, which is a big tell, with these only becoming popular in the 70s, meaning he has to be at least 40 to 50 which to me seems much more likely than 32. Vittorio is one of few characters we have pretty accurate dates for. He was born in 1343, he is taken in 1391 after recruiting Tahos, which makes him likely 48 when he is taken. Before Wesker's death in Resident Evil 5, he's either 48 or 49, depending on when his birthday is, with him being born in 1960, and the events of Resident Evil 5 happening in 2009. Freddy I presume to be 50, due to the actor also being 50 at the time of the film's release. He also looks like a 50 year old. There's no definitive age for Freddy in the 2010 version, so I am content with this number personally. Ace is a bit of a mystery. I kind of misunderstood one of the sentences in the lore last time, and overshot his age by quite a bit I think. We mainly just have appearance to go off of here, and nothing else really. Therefore I think he's somewhere between 45 to 55. I somewhat like that Ace is an enigma in this sense, and I imagine even those close to him don't really know his age. Tab is said to be around his mid 50s according to the Saw wiki page, so that's what I'm going to go with. I think this is likely just referring to Danny Glover, the actor's age though, to be the basis of this. At the time, Danny Glover was 57, so let's go with that. Ash is 57 at the start of Ash vs Evil Dead, however we don't really know the exact timeline as the series progresses, and we also don't know how far in the future he is at the end of the series, so he's somewhere between 57 to probably 60 at most. Nicolas Cage is currently 59 and turned 59 in January of 20. 23. Although DBD does have a different timeline of course to real life, so there's potential he's a little younger or a little older. He's probably just 59 though. Bill is kind of a tough one, he was in the Vietnam War, and based on his tome cutscene, he appears to be in his late 20s to early 30s during this time. He more than likely came home early though due to his shrapnel injury. He's in a veterans hospital when the green flu outbreak happens in 2009. If he came home around 1970 say, then 39 years have passed since that, making him probably in his mid 60s. The Hellraiser wiki says that Pinhead is over 100, so I don't think we even have a close number to what he actually is. I do think, however, that we can have a decent guess. 
He spawned as Elliot Spencer in 1887, later serving during the First World War. He discovers and solves the Lament configuration when in India. After this, I think he becomes pretty ageless. The first Hellraiser film happens in presumably 1987, which would make him exactly 100 at the time he enters the realm. The entity doesn't have an exact age, but the Observer theorizes it's older than the Earth itself as an ancient, making it over 4.5 billion. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, be sure to drop your own thoughts too down below. Thanks and goodbye.